Hi everyone. Welcome back to our videos. We are on kayak sailing uh, for the inflatable kayak from uh, Decathlon or any other kayaks that you have that is uh, inflatable or inflatable crafts. Um, so today we are going to discuss and um, break down how I actually make uh, the lee boards. One of the most important components in a sailing kayak or sailing craft, you need uh, lee boards to become a pivot point to have an effective sailing power from your sail to your lee boards which is like a center board for a sail boat and then the next is the rudder so i think we have done the rudder bit so this time we're going to discuss about lee boards because it's it's actually simple but for some of you um, that left a comment thank you very much for the comments um, I believe that I haven't really covered uh, how I actually go about making one. So this is it. I'll make it a simple uh, unit. Previously, on every video that you have seen, probably about 5-6 videos ago, this is what you have seen. Um, it's made out of a pair of crutches. I chopped up the crutches because I like the, uh, the adjustable bit that you can adjust the length of the... How do you say it? the span, the span of the the transom to hold the lee boards on the left and the right side of the kayak when you're sailing. So this is a pair of crutches. Maybe not everyone can get hold of a pair of crutches. It's a little bit hard to source in some regions. Um, if you can manage to get one, please get one because it's really useful because you can. Uh, once you get it mounted onto the kayak, you tie, tie it onto the kayak and then there and then you can press these spring buttons and then you can squeeze in to your kayak's width so that your lee boards are snug to the body so it sticks, so it doesn't go anywhere and you get like maximum functionality, functionality of the lee boards um, on both sides, left and the right side of the kayak. So, um, it's, it's the same, same exact concept. Um, you have the, the end mount points, the, the studs for the lee boards, left and the right. And then you also have, I made, I made this eyelet in the middle so that you can run the main sheet, which is uh, the line that controls the boom, how much the boom swings out or swings in, how loose or how tight you want the, your sail to uh, uh, to be in relation to the center line of the kayak so that uh, you can point your kayak into the right direction uh, where you want it to go basically um, not in irons in irons is like static you can't sail in that position you must be like off by 45 uh, degrees of where the wind's coming from so you can sail upwind so this lee board system is going to allow you to go upwind when you say upwind means basically you are going um you are going almost towards the wind so it doesn't mean that the wind is blowing the other way you can't sail towards the wind so this time you can you go into a zigzag pattern if you go onto a kayak kayak sailing course or a sailboat course or yacht sailing uh, videos you have seen on youtube you probably find that they can even sail into the wind how they do it, they do it in a zigzag pattern. It's called tacking. Go, go 45 degrees left and then 45 degrees right after a while. Then you 45 degrees left again. You end up upwind. That's called upwind. So this is my old system. I'm going to discuss about this later after we finish the build. Um, now, we have a very simple build. I've come up with uh, over the weekend. Uh, it was my day off, so I was thinking, hmm, might as well give it a go. Um, so, this is actually from my one of my work sites. I have excess, uh, I have a surplus uh, plastic pipes. This is a UPVC pipe. Um, I think uh, some of you have seen this maybe under your basin, uh, under your kitchen sink, um, probably, um, I don't know, it, it, probably somewhere in your house or someone, someone's house. Um, you've seen these white pipes, they come in three colors, uh, black, white or grey. 
Um, either way, they come about the same size. Um, the smallest, I think, is 32 millimeters, 32 millimeters. The second size will be 36 or 38 millimeters. And some goes by 40 millimeters. This is, I believe this is a 36. I've measured the last time it was 36. So what you have to do is get a length of these. Um, inflate your kayak first. Inflate it full. Put in... Um, what you call it if you are using the uh the sail mass boom or the sail mass uh what you call it uh base like i did with the ikea uh parasol base put it snug into the body as as if you are going to go sailing and then at full inflation rate uh of the of the craft measure the outside line of the body of the kayak where you're going to mount the Leeboard transom, make it, I would say, about 20 millimeters short. So if you are measuring your kayak to be, say, uh, 85 or say 80, okay, we will run it off 80, centi 80, 80 centimeters. Don't cut this pipe as 80 centimeters, cut it as minus 20 millimeters, which is 2 centimeters, cut it 78. So that it's, it's going to be um, a little bit snug. So when you, when you mount your lee boards, the lee boards going to rub on the side of the kayak. Which is actually, I would say it's a genius because it just holds it in place so that it won't run away. Um, you know, it just works. I, I, found, it, I found it by accident uh, and it works. That's how I use this. So that can I just how snug I want it, so that it won't move when you're sailing. Otherwise, you'll be you know keep swinging backwards, and you know you have to put restraints and all that. It complicates the whole matter. So get a length like this. Say if the length is eighty, cut seventy eight because your lee board's gonna land land exactly at the ends of this pipe. Step two. Drill holes like this. Like this, drill holes. One, two, and I will show you, you what is it is for. Three in the middle, and four. The fourth one doesn't have to be all the way through; just be halfway. So you have how many drills? One, two, three, four. Four drills. That's it. That's all you need. Four drills. If you don't have a drill, or you don't have a power tool at home, you can also use a well. Use a nail or screw that's really hot uh, on the on the kitchen stove and you can just you know poke holes into the pipe you can but it won't be as nice it won't be as clean as a cut as this you can see the the holes like really sharp and you know neat but you still can get it done there's no there's no excuse that you can't get it done so it, it can be do it is, it is really doable so pipe Shorter by two centimeters, and then it comes to this. One of the Im most important components I I would actually say is actually essential to your leeboard system. This is called an eyelet bolt. Eyelet bolt. If you Google it, you'll find it. So you have an eyelet bolt. You have a piece of a washer, and a nut. Okay. So this is the critical component to hold your lee board, all right? And then you have a bolt that will be going into the eyelet like that, you see? And this, this bolt is going to be holding as a, uh, what you call it, a horizontal force to hold the eye bolt, eyelet bolt, from pulling out of the pipe, right? And then we have, well, sponges or uh, insulation, pipe legging insulation sponge, or you can use a wine cork if you, if you drink wine, you have wine corks, you can drill a hole through. It's just to center the bolts. So let's begin. Pipe. So you get this eyelet bolt, 
in, pass it through the hole. You can see it there. Get your bolt. Bolt. Pass it through the eyelet. There. How do you know you did it right? Try to pull. See? It's sitting good. There is one down. Alright. Number two. Before you put on the other side. I'll do this first. I'm going to put this eyelet. Okay. Observe. This eyelet is actually meant to put in wood or any um, any soft material. Such as... I, well, this is an uh, an object I found randomly in the toolbox. Uh, it was one from uh, one of my work sites. It's a rubber uh, door stopper. It's strong because it's old. It's hard rubber. So this, just by chance, it actually fits very well with the screw. Like that. And this will prevent, this block will prevent this hook eyelet eyelet uh, screw from pulling out of the pipe so therefore this can be for your for your line your main main sheet line see okay now i've really drilled this hole i'm not going to run any uh, power tools on this video because it's too noisy it's hard for me to explain so i've really drilled a through hole um, a, a, a hole, not the through hole. The through hole is for something else. So we're going to pass this. Okay, make the hole stay on top. You have this rubber bit. Pass it through the end. Try to aim. Like that. And then press it in. You want to aim the hole upwards so that you can get it to screw in. Just nice. Okay. So your, your fingers, you can get it all the way in. So use this like a stick or, you know, anything, any random stick you can find around the house. Poke this in. Worst thing can happen is if you do it wrong, the... the Holes won't line up if you poke too far or you poke too too short. Um, you just have to get a longer stick and just push it through and restart all over again. That's all. Okay, so um, well, uh, I've already cut out the bits that you don't have to wait for the rubber to get in place. I got it pretty much where I want it. So this goes into there. Just use the screw. Well, it's a screw itself, so all you have to do is drill it into the material that whatever you're going to put in. You can put into cork, you can put a piece of wood, but it's not advisable because wood rots in water. Um, but if you're going to use it for a couple of times uh, a year in the water, just do it. Won't be any. There's no such wrong answer. Okay, now, you got that in. Okay. Either way. So now, the second bit is to put in the other end of the eyelet bolt. Now that, on the other end, we have one end in. We have the other end in now. Same goes here. Undo the screw. I like have to have them aligned heads to heads so I'm gonna put heads to heads so that it looks symmetrical doesn't look too bodgy okay so fasten the nut fasten the nut the other side now that bit 
leave it there use this sponge this sponge i think you have seen this before probably in a boiler room or something this is a pipe legging uh, sponge or foam um, for those in warmer climate countries in asia probably um, in maybe in africa if you are uh, from a warmer climate country you probably have this for air conditioning air conditioning uh, hose you can all use, also use that chop this with a blade cut through slice it across and trim off the excess how much you want it to just fit the pipe that you want you don't have to have it super snug you just have to have it just enough for the the screw to just align somewhere around the middle so squeeze it in like that okay make sure the washer is outside don't leave the washer inside you can but you know it's the purpose of having a washer now there press it snug like that look at that it looks neat and it says somewhere around the middle. That's what you want, right? Same goes on the other side. Go around. Press it in. And that's it. You're almost done, right? And because of this nut, I can't find a wing nut. This is called a wing nut. It's for you to twist with your hands. I couldn't find one thread that matches this. So instead, I put a regular nut. I found this in a plumbing store. They um, sell this together with a um, toilet seat cover. That's what they use it for. Toilet seat covers and also uh, basin tap sets. They have this. So, you can use this to do and undo your lee boards. I just drill a small hole on it, on the ears, like that, and pass a line through, make an end stop knot, and also a loop. So that's what you do. Just loop it over, like that. It becomes like a noose. You can just tie it there. That way, you won't lose it. And the best thing is, it's plastic. It will never corrode. If you are sailing in the sea, um, you're going to the beach, you can go 100 times and it won't rot. And then, I have something new that I've created recently. Um, I found that it's hard because we don't have a line cleat to hold onto the main sheet. Main sheet is the line that's holding the boom to control how much swing it's giving uh, further out or further in. So, Assume that this line is the for the main sheet, right? When you're sailing, this main sheet line, main, main sheet is going to pass through that loop like that. This is going to the boom, right? You can't keep, you know, you can't like loop it around your feet hand. That's what I did before. I found it uh, a little bit inconvenient because you have one hand holding this. And also, you have to counterbalance the kayak, which way you're sailing. You have to counterbalance left or right. Depends where the wind is coming from and where the boom is uh, swinging. At the same time, you're controlling the rudder. It's a little bit psh, annoying. So, I came up with a solution. Because you don't adjust the main sheet um, a lot. You only adjust probably, I don't know, maybe two tacks at a time or you know it depends on preference uh, as you build your skill how to sail then um, you can you can you know you can adjust better and better so you you can fine-tune your sail so instead we're going to use a screw a washer and also i had this rubber piece just in case what we do is we take this screw Pass it through the back of the, the okay, see that's that's the, the main sheet coming through. Pass this through. It goes 
stuck in the rubber but you can um, just force it through there so screw goes through here make the long start bit facing you so that you have an excess about that much protruding screw put a washer through like that optionally if you're using a bigger line uh, main sheet bigger main sheet that is say maybe seven millimeters eight millimeters like one i have um, on the yellow the colorful sale i use a like a buffer this rubber what it does is it gives a little bit a little bit of a flex between the washer and the line so that the line can get jammed in otherwise it's too stiff so you can use this wing nut like that you can adjust the tension how much you want the line to hold so this is a very cheap trick very economical trick for you to get yourself a line clip to hold in your main sheet without breaking the bank and you don't have to order one because you can buy it, buy it off a off the shelf in a in a hardware store so say this is the main sheet I'll turn it the other way. Okay, see, this is facing you, right? You are sailing. So this is the main sheet to the boom. Main sheet passes through the eyelet. It goes here. So you're pulling. You're pulling. You're adjusting. Okay, you got the right angle. Now, what you do? Swing it around. And jam it. There. Well, you have to adjust the... adjust the uh, wing nut so that it's tight enough based on how big your main sheet is so twist and it will jam onto itself so basically when the wind pulls pushes the the sail it won't go anywhere optionally you can also put a piece of rubber behind it so it becomes like a break basically so you want to release it it's easy just reverse and it goes free. You can adjust how much you want. Longer. Pull it in. Okay, pull it in. Tighten. And that's it. Cool, huh? So I have the same one done on my set here. I have a rubber piece inside. You can see there. So what it does is my main sheet is bigger. So that gives a little bit of a flex. Watch this. So when you press here or when you lift one side, when you pry it, with your line is gonna flex see that so basically it follows your line and it jams it in place took me a while to figure this out how to make it cheap i made it so now you know saves you time enjoy more time sailing rather than figuring things out like i did and last but not least Everything that goes into salt water rust. I hate that. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna have this line, this uh this uh, bolt. Wind in the bolt this the nut all the way in. Use this candle, rub it onto the stud, onto the threads, light up the candle. And warm up just enough for the wax to just melt into the grooves, into the threads. Now you have a lubricated and rust proofing for your bolts. Now what you have to do, just get a pair of ropes, strings like this, tie it onto your kayak. You can do it like a loop like that tie into a loop knot like that go underneath the kaya and up the other way and tie it the other end you can do that it's also strong uh, or if you you want to be lazy you can also tie this up to one of the mount points that you already have maybe one of the seat mount points if you're having a decathlon kaya uh, it with it with one two three it doesn't matter um, they, they all have the same mounts uh, they all have the seat mounts, uh, like a like a D ring, not D ring, like like a. Well, it's like like one of those you know backpack fittings. You can tie it on there, 
um, it's just to hold it in place so that it won't pop out that's all and it's actually not to hold the side force because all the side forces are going to go going to be resting on here so basically this pipe is going to harness this this section here is going to be the most stressful on the whole thing so anything in the middle you, you see you have a lot of space maybe you can drill more holes you can put a compass or maybe you can drill more holes you can put a gopro mount gopro mount you can put a video you can make your own videos as well and share it to me and don't don't forget to tag us on on the videos because we like to see what you did uh, you know if we have changed uh your your hobby selection for the year for 2022 um yeah we would like to see and we like to hear your feedback on what goes on um yeah that's about it and good luck to this good luck to your builds and see you next time